Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to take inspiration from one of my best Tumblr friends and favorite makers of all time, Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique. She is so talented and so creative. And we're going to take one of the tumblers that she made for me a couple years ago and we're going to reimagine it and do it in my own kind of different style. Now, if you guys are not following her, you should be. She has a great YouTube channel with a lot of wonderful tutorials on it. So I will link that down below in the description box for you. I'll also link her Instagram page and Facebook group if you want to join her community. But she's so wonderful and so talented and I just love her. I hope you all enjoy this video. And as always, I'll have everything linked down below in the description box for you. You can find discount codes, a link to join my exclusive mentorship group, my Facebook group, all of that wonderful stuff will be down there for you. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. For this design, we're gonna use a 22 ounce tumbler from the Tipsy Magnolia. This is a prep tumbler, so it's already white. We're just going to go right over that with some acrylic paint. I'm going to use a light pink and then a light aqua blue color, obviously two of my favorite colors. And what we're going to do is kind of like a very light painted ombre on here. In the end, the blending of your paint is really not going to make too much of a difference. You just want to get your two colors on there and really blend them the best you can. Um, but we're going to put so many other things on top of this that if you can't get a perfect ombre with your paint, it is totally okay. So I did the pink on the top and the bottom first, and then I went in with that light blue color in the middle. And you can see with my fluffy brush here, I'm just going to very slightly blend them. Again, it does not need to be perfect. Once the paint dried, I was ready to go in and apply my glitter. For our glitter application, I'm going to use UV resin. Of course, you can use any adhesive method that you prefer. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to put my little bit of UV resin on my tumbler, spread a nice even layer all over the cup, and then I'll be ready to go in with my glitters. Now I'm sure it comes to no surprise to any of you that I am using for my first color Kaneohe from Peachy Olive Glitters. This is my absolute favorite like teal aqua Tiffany blue color. So I'm going to take that and put that pretty heavily in the middle of our tumbler. And then I'm going to take for my pink, my first pink, as if also for Peachy Olive Glitters. And I'm going to go pretty light with the pink coverage here. I'm going to go on that top and bottom rim going pretty heavy, not heavy heavy, but like light heavy, if that makes any sense at all to anybody. <laughs> and then I'm going to start to gently fade that as if into our teal sections. After that, I'm going to take Barbie and I'm going to essentially do the same thing. So I'm going to go a little bit heavier handed here because Barbie is a finer chunky than as if is. So I'll go a little heavy on the top and bottom rim and then lighten up my coverage as I start to fade the pink up into the teal. Next, I'm going to take CK9, which is from Olive's Glitter Outlet, and I'm going to put that everywhere. I put Kaneohe and then also start to fade it down into the pink. Now, again, this does not need to be a perfect ombre. You can see that mine is definitely not a perfect ombre. All we're looking for is really just these two colors kind of sort of blended together. With everything we're going to layer on top, you do not need to spend a lot of time creating a super perfect blend because you're not really going to see it. So after the light teal, I put on Tanner, which is our fine cut pink. And then I went in with Kaneohe again, just to reinforce that color. And that's what the glitter looks like. So again, not a super perfect ombre. I put my cup on my turner for about probably 20 to 30 minutes to cure that UV resin. And after that, I was ready to seal my glitter. So you can see here, I'm taking my 50-50 mixture of water and the Crystal Act glitter glue, and I'm just brushing that all over all of that glitter, making sure that it's lying flat and that it's gonna be sealed and make our epoxy coats a little bit easier. I let that glitter glue and water mixture dry for two hours, and then I added two coats of epoxy to the cup. For my coats of epoxy, I'm using the Fast Cure formula from Flint Sisters Supply Shop. And for each of my coats, I'm doing about 20 to 25 milliliters. My but for my second coat, I mixed up 30 milliliters, and I'm going to use that remaining epoxy to mix in some glitter and add a little bit of extra 
sparkle and dimension to the front of the tumbler. This is completely optional. You do not have to do this, um, but I always like to add a little extra glitter wherever I can. So into my remaining amount of epoxy, I took As If and Falori, both from Peachy Olive Glitters, and I just spread that epoxy all over my tumbler to give it a little bit of a like chunky sparkle look. You can see that you can see those big chunky pieces of glitter on there, and that just adds a little bit of extra dimension. Now, after that second coat of epoxy was cured, I did add a third coat, but that coat was really, really thin. It was only about 10 milliliters. And I just put that on there to make sure that my cup is totally smooth after adding that chunky glitter because I don't want to do any sanding before I add my decals. I'm going to use some semi-transparent vinyl from Banff here. The name of this pattern is Pastel Spring Florals, and it's a semi-transparent wrap. So it's got some florals printed with white ink, but all of the areas around the florals are clear vinyl. And we don't want to do any sanding before we put the clear vinyl down because that will show underneath epoxy. So what I'm going to do here, because I'm using a tapered tumbler, I'm going to cut out each little floral bundle individually and then place them around my cup. But if you're using a straight tumbler, you can just wrap the whole sheet of vinyl around the cup if you prefer. I kind of like cutting them into individual pieces because then you can really customize where everything goes and you can adjust your spacing so that you can fit more florals onto your tumbler. This sheet of vinyl has a lot of like half floral bundles on there that have straight edges. So what I'm going to do with those is take them, cut them out, and then kind of wiggle my scissors as you saw there just to make those lines a little less harsh. Now I did that on this one that I put at the top rim so it didn't really matter, but if you want to, you can cut out the individual flowers and avoid those straight lines. I just really don't like having those super harsh lines on my cups. I feel like they're so noticeable and there is a way to kind of camouflage them and at least make them a little bit less obvious. So I'm just going to continue filling my tumbler up with florals here. One thing to remember is that you are going to add your leopard spots, or at least I am. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm going to add those leopard spots. So I don't want to put my florals too close together. I want to leave a little bit of room in between each little floral bundle so that I can add some leopard print in between all of those areas. Once I had all of my florals added to the tumbler, I was ready to go in and add the pink leopard spots. Now this vinyl is the Colorful Pearl Lilac, I believe, vinyl from TechRap Craft. It's so pretty. If you haven't tried it yet, you have to. There are so many different colors. I use the pink a lot, the blue a lot, and the white a lot, and they all are really shifty and just gorgeous under epoxy. So I will have those linked down below in the description box for you. And as you can see, I'm just taking individual spots and placing them wherever they fit on the tumbler in between those florals. I really want to fill in as much space as possible just to make this look really robust. <laughs> Now I'm going to add another coat of epoxy to my tumbler to seal all of this vinyl work in. You don't have to seal this vinyl before you go into epoxy if you don't want to. You can, but it's not required. So that coat of epoxy that I added was probably about 15 to 20 milliliters. And once it was cured, I was ready to go in and do my glitter booty. We're going to use two different glitters for our glitter booty here. So I'm going to take Kaneohe, which we used on the body of the tumbler. And then I'm going to take Love You By and put that on the bottom as well. Of course, you can use a color that you used on the body of the cup if you want. Um, I honestly just had, didn't even think that I didn't use this on the body of the cup, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take Love You By and put that on the outer ring of the bottom of the cup. And then I'll take Kaneohe and put that in the middle.
I cured that UV resin on the bottom of the tumbler for about maybe three to four minutes. And once it was hard, I was ready to add my logo. I'm using my logo printed out on some clear sticker paper. This is my favorite thing. I love this stuff so much. Um, I just printed one out, cut it out by hand, and then placed it on the bottom of the cup. And now I'm gonna add another layer of just regular clear UV resin to the top to seal that part of the vinyl in or the sticker paper. And I don't know what else I'm going to do to this bottom. I'm not super in love with how it looks. I might add like some vinyl or something down there. I haven't quite decided yet, but anyway, that's what I did to the bottom at this stage. So once I had that done, I was ready to do my decal. We're going to do a double offset on our decal here. So for the bottom layer, I'm going to use my champagne gold textured metallic vinyl from TechRap Craft. Then for the middle layer, we're just going to use plain old white vinyl. And then for the top, we're going to use some more of that colorful pearl vinyl. And I've got the pink color or the lilac color. I can't remember honestly which color I used. Both of them are beautiful though. And we're going to do one word in the pink. And then we've got the rest of the decal in the really pretty aqua color. I love it so much. It's so perfect. <laughs> so I weeded all of those and now I'm going to put them on the tumbler one by one. So starting with the bottom layer, I'm going to put that on the cup first. Now, of course, if you would prefer to layer your decals before putting them on the tumbler and just putting the whole thing on the cup at once, you definitely can. But I find that doing that, at least for me, leaves me with more bubbles and stuff in between the layers. So I prefer to just layer my decals on the tumbler. But do whatever you prefer. It really doesn't matter either way. Just do whatever's easiest for you. Once the decal was placed, I added my final two coats of epoxy to the tumbler. For my final coats, I always use the Artist Cure formula from Flint Sisters Supply Shop. And that's it for this tutorial. So here is the final result. I really, really love how this turned out. Huge thank you again to Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique for the inspiration. Again, I will have all of her socials and everything linked down below in the description box so you can check her stuff out. I love her so much. She's one of my best friends and you guys just need to be following her. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I will see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the Elite Fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my Elite Fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.